<laughs> Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new stream of Russian Fishing 4. Uh, today we're going to start off with belugas. So unfortunately something, something bit our gibble I think and it took the line all the way there and then it spat it out. Or maybe it's still on, but it's not doing anything. Because bait fish are not able to drag the line like that. It hasn't bent the rod yet or any jingles, but... Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, it's something. It's something, it's not big at all. A quick start to the stream. Welcome, everyone. Hopefully this continues, this, <laughs> this kind of pirate. Oh, there we go. So a lot of, you know, trophy and I think blue tag Russians are coming out today. 12.38. Good start, good start. Very good start. Okay, which one is this? That's a dead one. We need a used up one here. 31. 32. Let's do 32. Mark, hey, hello, hello. How's it going? What's up? Oh, that was a bad throw. That was way to the side. I don't know if we're going to catch anything on this guy. It was like over here, maybe? Duncan! Hi! Finally you're here. <laughs> What's up? We are going beluga fishing. Yes, you are right on time. Actually, the stream is supposed to start at like 1 p.m. Uh, but I, you know, after lunch, if I'm early, then I'll start the stream early. So we still have like six minutes to go. Uh, but yeah, today is another very slow stream. Uh, we're using live bait gibbles on two rods. And then on one rod, we're using chaffer larva. So um, we should be getting, you know, if we're not getting belugas, we should be getting Russian sturgeons. Uh, I already got one. Because, let me show you the weeklies. Persian sturgeon. Look at this. Look at all these Russian sturgeons on gibbles. 94 kg, 85. One blue tag on uh, beetle larva. I was thinking of putting beetle larva on the Tagara. But I only have like five of those. And honestly, I don't want a big fish on that. You've been really busy recently. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, you're here now, so... Ah. <clears throat> yes. Lots of, uh, yeah. No clips got a trophy yesterday again, I think. Russian Sturgeon, so. People super busy. Uh, Everest. Hi, how's it going? Welcome. So tar is to start off the stream, a 12 kg sturgeon. Who's going to take the bait next? I really like this spot, guys, because it's going to be really hard to get spooled. Uh, rheumatic. Hi, welcome. Uh, because as soon as we get a big fish, I gotta walk to the right, make sure, you know, it goes over here. Even though this is a really nice trap spot, like I can stand on this side and just have the fish mess around here. Quill lover, hi, welcome. But we can walk this entire area. So if the fish decides to run this way, we can, you know, have a lot of room here. So this is perfect. We don't want to tire the fish out over here because this is the deep side. 
that's going to screw us over. Same thing with this. Welcome everyone. Uh, so Duncan, should you do carp fishing in order to save up? <sighs> Look, I, um, uh, before I got my 10k Tagara, this is what I did. When I was low level, you know, I spent a lot of time at Old Berg. Uh, cause I loved that place. There's so many different types of fish you can get. I used to farm breams and tench. <laughs> and then I used to just go for carps, you know, screw around. Uh, but if you really want to start making money, I went to Cory. When I unlocked it, I had, you know, like an 8.5 kg reel, I think. Uh, I got three of those setups and I farmed Cory. You know, I'm making 200 silver per hour sometimes. Sometimes I'm making 400 silver per hour. Uh, so Cory is a wild card, but I think... For the most part, you should be able to make some good money. And you will make insane amount of XP here. Uh, so if you at low levels want to make money, go to Cory or Volkov and troll those places. Uh, that's what I did. That's how I made a lot of money and a lot of XP. And then carps are obviously like all the way at amber. So... I don't know how far you are, but at Amber, you're obviously not going to be able to make any money from Amber if you're going in there with calibers. I mean, you'll make money, but like any big fish will take you time. So it won't be too efficient. With calibers, you can easily do Cory. A Volkov, the only thing that will push you is uh, Atlantic Salmons. So that's how I went about. <laughs> it's all good, Coil Lover. That's good. You're going to the theater. Enjoy your movie. And please don't have your cell phones out, you know, watching the stream or messaging people. Just <laughs> watch the movie. <laughs> uh... I love it. Thank you, Quill, though, that you, you really wanted to watch the stream. You know what? It's a beluga stream. It's it's really slow. I don't know if we're going to catch anything. So you won't be missing much. Unless, you know, I, right after you leave, I hook on to, like, a 200 kg beluga. Or a blue tag Russian sturgeon. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your movie, Quill. Bye. Oh my god, the stupid chat... This app is so garbage. Not you guys, not you. I, uh, on my phone, I'm using the YouTube app uh, to look at the chat, right? To look at, like, respond to you guys. And already, at the right from now, it's just giving me error messages. Chat stopped working. So, I uh, got two calibers. Not sure if I need a third one for carp. <clears throat> two calibers is really good. Uh, I would say your third rod should be a Tagara, yeah. Nine hundred ninety silver in a short time. Um, which video, Amber? The thing is, like, Amber. It's sometimes where the double corn, uh, works really good. You don't need PVA, you don't need boilies, but it's not like any time you can go to Amber, put corn on and make a lot of money. So if, you know, that corn spot is active, definitely go there. <laughs> but most of the time, I really don't know. I don't think it will be active. Divan, Divan, hi, how's it going? Uh, Tutti Fruity 120 spot is still going strong without PBA. Yes! 
Yes. Yeah, that's an amazing spot. So, Duncan, if you do have Amber unlocked, or anyone else who doesn't have PVA who wants to make money, you can go there. Worms. You're close to level 26 soon. Hopefully the spot doesn't die out though by the time you get there. <clears throat> yeah, Amber, I think it's one of like the best maps for me. Um, I don't know why, it just I think it just has the perfect everything in it. You know, it's just a carp map. There's not other like trash fish and stuff like that. And there's a few spots that are active. And you can really, you know, like target the fish out. And then obviously you have your regular carps, then you have your rare carps. So that always like keeps you going and mot motivates you. So I really like that map. When I unlocked it, I used to stream there like every weekend. And all I started off with was with the ground bait. And then I went on to spod rod. <clears throat> Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. It only takes one fish to give us like a one, two, three hour fight. Sloth, hi, how's it going? What's up, what's up? So we got a 12 kg Sturge, Russian Sturge. Right at the beginning of stream. Now we're just waiting. Noor, hey! How's it going? Happy Thanksgiving to you, sir. If I troll more and carp fish less, will that be efficient to save up money? I would say fish for carps when uh, that tutti frutti or the double corn spot is active. Make as much money as you can because it's a limited time thing. Uh, once that spot dies, then go troll. Thank you, Noor. I am doing good as well, Sloth. Devon, I haven't seen this yet, so hope you get a monster. I hope so. Thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, I did a beluga stream. Uh, I don't know what our biggest beluga was that we got. It wasn't that big. I think we got like a few 20 kgs. Uh, we got one big one. People said it was not 100 kg. It was less than that. Uh, but it ended up spooling us because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but today we're in a good spot. It's going to be very hard to spool us unless... Unless I literally walk away from the computer for like 15 minutes, half hour. So let's see. But it's going to be a lot of waiting though. That's the only issue. But the reason I'm trying today is because this spot... Not only is getting belugas, which is very slow fishing, obviously, <clears throat> but it's also getting a lot of Russian sturgeons here. So being able to catch two different types of fish with one live bait means, you know, every hour we should get a few fish at least. <laughs> Duncan, I hope I, I could help. Welcome everyone to the stream. Hope you're having a great weekend. It is Sunday. Man, I don't know why, but like I'm already depressed. Like I only have tomorrow and then it's back to work and obviously work's killing me. It's just... I just hope it's soon I get comfortable with work because this is really, really killing me. <laughs> Mentally, it's just the worst I've ever been. 
Oh man. The weather is depressing, but no, like, I work in an office now. Uh, so I don't care about the weather anymore. I actually had, uh, Thursday and Friday, I was out in the field, and I enjoyed it so much. I was so happy to be outside of the office for once. But being new at work, it's just... <laughs> I know I've told everyone. <laughs> I don't know if you were there, but the past few streams, like... This, this fall, you know, I was supposed to go fishing, Credit River and all that stuff. And I just couldn't because I was stressed out. It was so stressful. It is still st stressful. So <laughs> until I get comfortable, which I hope is soon, I just, it's preventing me to do stuff, you know? Uh, in your country, there's not many people who play this game. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I've never had this much stress related to work ever in my life. This is the worst experience ever. So I'm just going day to day, you know? What's tomorrow going to be? I have no idea. Well, hopefully, you know, we'll make it out. <laughs> Uh, weeklies, let's see here. Man, I kind of want to go uh, Archipelago again, because yesterday we did really good. Like, hot damn. Uh, Belugas, all trophies here. Very nice. Other region, Belugas. No trophy in other region. But I love this size, 200 to 400 kg, mostly 200s, which means if I do hook onto a beluga, hopefully it's, you know, 1 to 200. 1 to 200 kg. Um, office, I have no idea, right? It's, it's my first office job, but it's just the training is so bad. It's so bad. And really fast paced. I think that's what's killing me. Stay beluga, well, slot. Yes, I am going to stay beluga. I'm going to stay beluga, and then I'm thinking, or the plan is, after belugas, we're going to go to Tunguska. Uh, East Siberian Sturgeon, I'm going to try that out. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if I have the energy <laughs> after these belugas to go there. Bad college? No. No. It's just training at work. <laughs> Alright. It's morning. Hopefully we get a bite here. Yeah, I hope I can hook one on. It's been 17 minutes. Oh, colleague? No, my my colleagues and stuff are really good. It's a really nice environment. It's just uh, the training is so poorly done. They just, I don't know, man. They expect you to understand everything and remember everything and retain everything they've said the one time they've said it. And it's like, I try to take notes, but... They go so fast that if I start writing, <laughs> I'm going to miss steps. No clips. Hi, how's it going? Uh, were you the one fighting a beluga? Recently? Angelo, hi, how's it going? Hey, you landed it. How big? You finally landed it. Nice. 131k. Oh my god. Seriously. That is my dream right now. That is the size I want. Triple digit fish. And that's it. You know, not, not a 500kg. Not a 488kg. <laughs> Just that. Techno High, how's it going? J Jonah Pot. Welcome. 
You want to venture today? What? From a competition or like on someone's like what? How? But congratulations on a venture. Now the game is going to be super easy for you. Actually, no. I wouldn't even use the venture. Uh, until you get to bigger fish. Because, uh, you know, like if you keep using the venture at Old Berg and Bilea and Cory, you know, for the small fish, you're going to start wearing out the reel, obviously. And then the time comes to repair the reel and you don't have money for it. So I'm in this spot. I hooked today a trophy Russian, but fish got away. Oh, man, eSport. So sorry to hear that. At least I got a trophy Russian sturgeon here and I finally locked it. Nice. Oh my god, you guys are doing so good. I mean, sorry eSport to hear that it got away, but at... Ow. As soon as I can use Avenger, I'm gonna get, go for Belugas. Oh yeah, you need to be level 30 to use it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I'm using Gibble Life bait here. Yeah, same. So two rods or Gibbles. And then third rod, third rod, apparently trophy sturgeons are also coming out the beetle larva. So I wanted to equip that, but I have six pieces. And like, I don't want to waste this nilly willy because maybe one day Persian sturgeons are coming out on this, right? And I want to save this for that. So I just have Shaffer larva on for now. And I'm digging as whenever I can remember to dig. And I'm only getting worms today. What, what kind of garbage is this? Uh, Twitch giveaway. You're using gibbles. Uh, techno, I was here from earlier. Got PTSD from each other. Just <laughs> oh man, but I hope it'll get as good as it did, it did for me over time. Thank you so much. Yeah, I didn't want to be all down and gloomy on stream, but, uh, sometimes you just got to let it out. <laughs> uh, the re you know, like I, I said it because I honestly had a lot of plans to go fishing this year during fall time. Cause last year I went during fall with my colleagues. They love fishing as well. And we didn't have much luck, but this year, you know, like with more experience. I wanted to go out more. Uh, but then, you know, right before fall, I got this new job and it's just, it's just, you know, mentally beating me down. Uh, so I haven't been able to do anything. I just want to stay at home. But I'm hoping, you know, with time, it, it will get better. And then hopefully <laughs> during spring, I can go out and fish some more. Uh, if everything goes well, uh, you're gonna get the first internship around December. Ooh, all the best, Duncan. I really hope you get it. That's great. No clips, uh, your venture all three times, have 15% friction break, so I need to go repair it. You're still uh, fishing for sturge, making decent money. Nice. Man, I don't have your RNG. I've been here 22 minutes, one sturgeon. Um, on two gibbles. So, I'm gonna have to catch a lot more sturgeons to actually make good money per hour, like you're saying. So, <laughs> you're afraid of office. Listen, if, if they train you well and they're patient, it shouldn't be a worry. It should be a smooth experience. You were like 300k? Okay, wow. <laughs> Thank you, but... Let's tone that size down. <laughs> Look, I either want 100kg... Or I want a 500kg. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm gonna spend that much time, it might as well be a trophy. Uh, with Gibbles, you're getting three to 600 silver per hour. I mean, I'll take it. I'll be happy with that. Okay, no, not a thousand, please. That's a little too positive thinking.
41107 is the spot I'm using. 31 meter clip, 32 meter clip. So I hope I'm not, you know, messing up anything. No, I do not want to be on top of the Beluga leaderboards. I really don't care about Belugas. Absolutely don't care about him. I just want 100 kg fish by level 40 and that's it. Then I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Duncan. So after this, uh, I don't know, like we can try East Siberian Sturge for a little bit. And if that's really slow, uh, we can go to the small river and just enjoy a little bit of fishing there. Catch a f few, you know, good looking, good quality fish. But uh, it all depends. When fishing is really slow, like I said yesterday, it just takes a lot of energy out. Or if anything, we can go amber and try the tutti frutti corn spot. That always gets me up. If it's active and we're catching boatloads of fish and making money, I can continue. <laughs> uh, Rhinoceros beetle larva. I still can't believe it. This was on the Tagara. Uh, I was new to Aktuba. I only had two Tagaras. Or one Tagara. And someone gifted me five beetle larvas, I think. All the way, like, what is this? One year ago, one and a half years ago? Okay, they gifted me five. And on my second rhinoceros beetle larva, I hooked into this beast. That is some insane RNG. Man, that was just amazing. Uh, now uh, that you can afford a decent UL reel or repair all your Venjas. I mean, listen. Buy your UL setup, okay? For the next few hours. Um, enjoy UL fishing. If you're going to go to Tunguska, you're going to make good money. If you're going to go to Yama, you're going to make good money if you know the places. And then repair your three uh, Venjas. Because Venja, honestly, like, you can take it up to 20%. Unless you're going for Belugas, obviously. And then you want to repair earlier, but... That's what I would say. Enjoy you well. You're going to make money in the process. And then put that money do towards uh, repairs. If I hook onto a trophy Beluga today, would I fight it? It has to be now, though. So the next, you know, four hours... <clears throat> are streaming hours, so I don't mind. But if it's at the end of the stream when I'm tired and I want to, you know, like go for dinner soon, I'm going to alt F4. Thank you so much, Duncan. Max 630 kg landable here. Really? Interesting. Is it just cloudy or... Oh man, light rain. Oh my god, what is with these worms? Matt, hi, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Half hour, one sturgeon. How the hell am I going to make 300 silver per hour here? Should we put... No. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> I was going to say, you know what? Out of desperation, let's put live bait on the Tagara as well, but uh, that's not a good idea. Because it's already 16.7% damage. I cannot full lock this. Nine hundred is possible here. Welcome big. Uh Archipelago died? <laughs> You're gonna deliver me dinner. <laughs> oh man. When fighting like a really big fish, 
there's no way I'm going to be able to eat anything. Because I don't fight big fish a whole lot. So I don't have, like, I'm not comfortable and experienced enough enough to just have one, you know, one hand on the mouse. And like, I'm eating with my left hand or something. I'd be too stressed out. No, not the rain. Why? <clears throat> you can land 600 kg plus at the spot. It's just that the people who hook, hooked on to what, 600 kg, they couldn't uh, bring them in because of experience. I wouldn't even know how to. So, okay, all of the sudden the winds died. I don't hear the sound anymore. You need rhino larva. I mean, if anyone's comfortable donating, sure. I'll put it on my Tagara. Uh, but it's not necessary. You don't have to. Thank you everyone for the likes. I really pre Oh my god. I've dug like six times at this spot and I've only gotten worms. Do you guys remember yesterday when I was, di when I was digging? We were getting... A oh god, that's too many teas. We were getting so many different types of baits. And golden baits too. What's going on today? Hey! We're getting something. The game is trolling me. <laughs> the game really trolled us yesterday. Oh my god, Duncan. Yesterday at Archipelago, I hooked onto something big. Everyone, including me, we thought it was going to be Atlantic Salmon. And it turns out it was like a 30 kg Baltic Sturgeon. It was so weird. It's the weirdest thing ever. Hey, Jess, <laughs> where's the beluga trophy? Okay, okay, you. How's it going, Jess? What is this? Is this, is this a wild carp? Is this a grass carp? Um, It is in the highlights from yesterday. Is this spot more active with gibbles? Apparently, yes. Uh, My only sturge so far was on the gibble carp. I got within... Two minutes of casting out. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, yesterday, insane fish jump. We got that on footage. I slowed the video down as well. I released that video yesterday if you want to check it out. Yeah, it is a darn wild. 9kg. Should I use, should I use Rhino? I guess, what else? Let's put a PB on it too. Uh, Sturgy boy. Sturgeon mix, Sturgeon mix. Uh, let's put 12 gram. There we go. 47 slow, have one fish for two hours on two accounts. Damn. Is that why it bring a trophy or 817 gram? I pretty sure that's a trophy, isn't it? Why bream 845 gram? I think that's, yeah, that's a trophy. <laughs> okay, we have a sturge and we have a wild. Ooh, we are at 20 likes already. What? Thank you for the likes, guys. 800 gram white bream is a trophy. Big is just hammering it down. 
he got a bream trophy now he gets a white uh what is it a white bream trophy i think there's a bream trophy yeah blue bream i don't have a trophy of i think besides that all of the bream trophies i have white eye bream white bream uh regular bream i have what are the types of bream there are i think that's it Eastern Bream I have. Yeah, so Blue Bream is the only one left. Third alt, blessed RNG. Curses. <laughs> Congratulations. Darius, hi, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, never had a Bream trophy? I have a Bream trophy. I just don't have a Blue Bream trophy. Blue Bream trophy is not easy to get you well, that's why I don't have a trophy of that. I know I've tried before, though. Add a tuba, you can see Caddis fly. I think, uh, it, I remember, I think it was right here. You land on this island and you'd cast, like, over here somewhere. A long time ago. 43 kg Chinook. Yes, we has a Chinook. Uh, this is when Yama was brand new. It was so easy, guys. Like my first stream or second stream at Yama, um, like a day or two after Yama came out, we got a Chinook trophy. And then I went for Kalugas and I got like a 30 kg Kaluga with no effort. Like the RNG back then was insane. And then they nerfed it. You have a blue bream trophy. Nice. Uh, do you need Venja for that? Absolutely. That was the scariest fight ever. That that Chinook uh, was far more scarier than the 55 kg Russian Sturgeon on the Tagara. Okay, that Chinook was... Look at... It was insane. Like, it was a mizzle. <laughs> oh, did I get that Chinook with Tagara? Hot damn. Okay, wasn't the Venge I was... No, I... Really? Hey, if you say so. But yeah, that Chinook was a lot stronger than the Russian Sturgeon. Well, I don't know about stronger, but like it was overheating our reel way more. And it was darting everywhere and it was so insane. <laughs> Scary. So that was the Tagara. Okay, okay. Let's go, give me something here. Okay, we're getting something. Yeah, my is your ultimate river. Well, be prepared to be disappointed. Look at that, 48 kg East Siberian. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is insane. Thank you. I've already put uh, beta larva on. So, that is so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so kind. Yama is unfortunately bad. Uh, East Siberian. East Siberian. East si oh my god. East Siberian. Where are you? Damn. Look at that. Only two trophies, but uh, ninth. T oh wow! Today, hundred eleven kg came out, and today on the larva, a seventy nine kg came out. Yesterday, another trophy. Okay, let's look at other region. So I think um, East Siberians are active, or at least someone posted on VK. Now everyone's trying it out. I think that's it. So today in other region, 67 kg, 42 kg, 37 kg. Look at that. So many people catching it today. Yeah, Yama is just trash. Hey, fully loaded. Good to see you. 
What's up? 100 silver to get to Yama and rarely get more than 400 an hour. Yeah, if you get 400 silver in one hour at Yama, like, you did amazing. So, that's the issue with Yama. Again, same thing. Okay, okay. Wow, that is insane. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, they nerfed it within, I think, a week or two of Yama coming out. Chum salmons are absolutely worthless now. And the RNG is just... Titus, wow. Welcome, how's it going? Uh, 15 minutes, Tunguska. Uh, you got 340 silver only from casting. Are you doing the small river? I really thought that was money-making river. Duncan, when it was released, it was money-making river. Yes, it was. We all loved it. It was so good. And then they nerfed it. Yeah, okay. That's really good. Yeah, small river is your best bet. Some hours you're going to make three to 500 silver at Tunguska small river. Some hours you're just going to make 200 silver. Uh, but I just, I love the fish at Tunguska Small River. You know, like the Graylings, Sharp Snouted, Lanooks, um, Pink Salmon sometimes. They're all like really nice, clean, good looking fish and they're worth good money. Brown Trouts, so. The scenery is really nice. It's very relaxing. Until you get in Taman. Taman, that's... That's when you start regretting. Brown trout is okay, but other fish are good. Yeah, brown trout, sadly, not worth much money. Uh, but East Siberians, there, there's usually an order for them as well. 400 gram or bigger East Siberian or Arctic, which one, whichever one, I don't know. Uh, but you can easily get those. Yesterday, yesterday you got a 2.955 kg brownie. Oh man. So 41 minutes, just two fish. I don't know how no clip and the other of you do it. But we're going to wait here still. Uh, this is beluga fishing. It's slow. I warned you guys yesterday. Oh, let's go ahead and dig some more here. Damn. Why? It just takes one fish. 100, 200 kg fish. And we are set for the rest of the stream. <laughs> I really, really, really need to make a second account. Like a separate second account. Uh, so when I'm streaming, like I can minimize this game and I can start my other game and have it on, you know, this screen. And whenever we hear the jingle bells, um, you know, I'll tab to the other game and then bring that on. But I don't have two monitors, uh, so it's going to make life a lot harder. <laughs> I'm on a worm pit. Oh, man. Hey, yesterday I was digging at the same spot and we were getting some amazing stuff. Dynamitis, hi. It's been some time. I hope you're doing good. And if you create a new account, make sure to be on the Chinese region. <laughs> they have insane RNG. Um, I probably won't. I'll still go other region. But that's funny. It's just that there's a lot of Chinese people playing. I think that's the biggest, um, what do you call it? Biggest region in this game. And a lot of people are really hardcore, which is why we see so many more Chinese players getting, you know, the blue tags and rare fish. And it makes people think, hey, you know, the Chinese RNG is amazing. Maybe it is, but I don't want to be stuck in another language. And it's really not my area, so. <laughs> Chinese servers are horrible. 
they are the biggest player base, exactly. You look at weeklies, you look at all-time records, that's Chinese name. Welcome everyone to the stream, thank you so much for tuning in. We are fishing for belugas today. You guys know it's slow fishing, so hang in there. Till we hook onto something. I am doing good dynamitis. No good catches today so far. We've been streaming for 45 minutes. We have two fish, 12 kg Russian sturgeon, 9 kg wild, and a whole lot of worms. Oh no, I forgot to move. Hey, mole cricket. Yes, finally. That's a good one. That is a really good one. Okay, there we go. Finally. Duncan told us to move while digging. We moved and uh, we got a... Uh, do I watch sports? Ah, uh, no. I do not. Very rarely. Yesterday, Blue Jays, you know, our team, Toronto, uh, we got eliminated from the playoffs or something in baseball. The only reason I know this is because, like, I was eating out at a restaurant and they had the news on. And people were really disappointed. And I'm like, damn, okay. Like, if our team makes it to the World Cup or some final, then I'm more interested and I might watch it. But if it's just a regular season or whatever, like, I am not going to watch it. Lost game one? What? That was the first game and they lost it? Ouch. No wonder people were so disappointed. <laughs> Oh man, that's tough. Oh, Moto GT. Oh man, that is that is high octane, dangerous sport. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Hey, look at that. Beat a larva. Please be something. Please don't be a wild carp. Oh, it's something small. Something very small. The heck is this? Oh, a 1.6 kg sterlet. Okay. I mean, it's tiny, but I'll take it over. Honestly, any other fish. It's so jagged, like... I can just flip this fish upside down and, like, cut through bread or something. Yeah, I'll dig it. <laughs> Uh, that's on the Tagara, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Techno. Hello. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Like, sterlets are small, and, you know, they're worth decent money. Ooh. Ooh, what was that? Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm ready for round two. Let's go. Damn it. <laughs> okay, we got another one. Uh, I hope it's a sterlet again if it is small. Ah, oh, man. Another wild. 3kg. And there goes my PV. Sturge, I was supposed to make more PVA, but it's okay. I keep forgetting. Uh, Bavinuk, I miss you so much, Bavinuk. Babby, please come back. Uh, let's see, let's put this on. Alrighty. Um, would you guys say this is worth 300 silver in one hour? 
<laughs> oh man, it is not. I mean, I'm not here for the money, but when people say, hey, you know, I make 300 silver, I make 400 silver, this and that, then I'm like, you know, why am I doing worse than everyone else? So then I want to make more money, even though originally I didn't care. Even fishing isn't the same without Babs at stream. Yeah, it was really fun when Bab was around. He used to uh, raid uh, our stream here all the time. And I used to hang out with him. Oh, yes. We got another mole. Yeah. You know, I used to hang out in his stream and all that stuff. And Gustav at that time was just a brand new rise and shining star. And springtime, Bav said, hey, it's going to be nice weather. I want to get out. And he did exactly what he said he would. So hopefully, hopefully, you know, as it gets colder and colder, maybe soon, I hope, he'll return to streaming. I have no idea what's going on with him. Um, Gustav's the only one who seemed to have an update. But, uh, but yeah. Now look at Gustav. Gustav's a juggernaut. He has an amazing community. He has a huge, huge Discord channel. Like, when, uh, when people ask for help, or anything else, I will always recommend Gustav's channel and I've stopped recommending M-Dog's channel. Because M-Dog has been MIA for too long. And his channel, I mean, it's... It's slowly dying, basically. But Gustav's live and, it, it, you know, his channel has a lot of good people and helpful people. So now I just recommend Gustav's. Who knows, maybe he has a new account? Who? Bavanuk? No. Why? Why, why would he? <gasps> Shaffer Larva! Yay! Finally! We're getting the gold lures. Uh, sorry, the gold bait. Well, Bavanuk hasn't been around. That's why his Discord's dead, right? But as soon as he gets active, like, there's going to be so many people um, joining his Discord. So, how is M-Dog? No idea. He is just busy with his work life. I've asked him several times over the years that, hey, you know, um, let's do, I don't know, the Angler multiplayer. We can hang out or make a video or something. You know, Gustav, Mescudis, we all want to make a video. Would you like to join us? And every single time he's just said, hey, he's really busy. You know, maybe in a week or two when he's free, he'll think about it or something. And he's always, he's always too busy. Or he just doesn't want to do group stuff. You know, he just wants to be solo. Nicola, hi. <laughs> hey, it's nothing, man. Uh, Gustav, we're, we're friends, right? Uh, we look out for each other, each other's channels. And uh, it's just a good community. So, uh, Techno, I just want to know that he's well. I I hope so. All I know is M-Doc's just busy with work. Work, and I think maybe he might be on vacation. I'm not sure. Uh, M-Doc's always been good. He That's just how he is. You know, he'll disappear for a while, and then he'll come back, do a few streams and videos, then he'll disappear again. Um, Bavanuk. Uh, Bavanuk's started what last year beginning of last year i think 2021 and then we started you know got to know each other a bit uh and then uh he you know this past spring he uh he just left he's like hey i'm preparing for the parade and all that stuff so i'll be gone for a bit and then uh i'm not sure after that would happen but i think gustav said he's uh He's with family right now or something, or with his daughter or something like that. So I'm sure he will eventually return. And I'm sure, hopefully, you know, he's he's doing well. Hmm. 
Midnight Gaming. I feel like I've heard of that name. Is Midnight Gaming uh the channel on uh VK? They post videos. Yeah, I think that's Midnight Gaming, isn't it? Mystic? Okay, that's Mystic. Okay. Yeah, I mean, their video always gets posted on VK and uh, I'm sure they have a really big following. And I think they spend a lot of time uh, when they do some of the active spots because like, I remember they had an East Siberian Sterlet spot and they ended up getting a trophy in that video. They did like an East Siberian spot and they ended up getting a trophy in that video. So it's not like they only spend, you know, one hour, two hours at a spot sometimes. Because you just... No? Am I wrong here? Okay. Or is that just old video clips that they use? <laughs> or am I confusing someone? Okay, I'm talking about someone else. Oh, okay. So maybe I don't know Midnight Game. I'm sorry, I just... It sounds familiar, Midnight Game. Do I have to Google this? Do I have to Google this person? Let me Google this person. You guys are making me feel bad now. Midnight... Uh, game? Gaming? Game? What is it? Midnight Gaming. Okay, guys, stop. Okay, please. Mystic. What? Who is this person? 11 months ago was the last... No, I got his link. I'm looking at his link right now. 11 months ago, one year ago. Four speed fishing with spinner rods tutorial. <gasps> it's his guide that I used uh, for... Um... For the three rod technique at the Tunguska Small River. I was like new to the game. But I've only watched one video of his and that's it. So it's not fair to be so disappointed that I didn't know him. <laughs> what happened to him 11 months ago? Where did he go? He has Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Damn, this guy's everything. Okay, we're getting something here. Another small one. Hey! Okay. It's okay size. Twelve kg. Eleven kg Russian sturgeon. Okay, okay, we're getting something here. Nice. One hour we have this. Okay, not. I mean, could be worse, right? So, I'll take it. Uh, you're hoping maybe some other streamer will know where Midnight Gaming went. No idea. There's a lot of 
maps and fish and content in this game. I don't think it's going to die out. I agree with Big. The number one reason I've seen of people having an issue everywhere, like casual people, uh, people on Steam forums of other fishing games and stuff, everyone says it's grindy as heck. That's the number one complaint I've seen everywhere. But surprisingly, people don't say that about Fishing Planet. Yeah, if you've been playing this game hardcore for years, then I can see, hey, you've experienced all the content, right? I felt that way until I'm like, you know what, let me start chasing trophies. Let me give myself objectives. I want to go to Amber and get as many different types of carp trophies as possible. So that's been keeping me busy. Alright, is it safe for me to AFK for two minutes? I don't think we're gonna get something crazy right now. And why? Okay. 20%. Okay. Alright, I am gonna be right back. Um, hopefully we don't get spooled that time uh Jonah pot that is not a nibble it's just how uh bait fish work it's just that my weight is not heavy enough so my left one this has 112 gram weight it's heavy enough to keep that fish in check uh but this one it's only a 90 gram weight so this gibble is like managing to push it around so you're going to see sometimes there'll be slack like this. Sometimes uh, the line will tense up. Oh, it doesn't matter. Really? Then this gibble is very, very out of energy then. Okay, I'll be right back. I will <laughs> I'll be right back.
I am back. It's nothing big. Nothing big at all. Ten KG Rusky, okay. Okay. Yeah, so the beta larva is doing really good. We're catching a lot. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Whoops, did not mean to do that again. Damn it, I might have put some slack on it. Where? Poop. No, that's just our giblet. Although I do want to recast it because I haven't caught a fish on this in a very long time. Uh, when I casted it, it was windy and I think it might go, might have went all the way to the edge of the deeper hole. Uh, would you recommend fishing a level 34 uh, with the Caliber Tagara? That's very hard to say. I'm going to recast this. Let me cast a little bit there. Damn, that was not far enough. I think we're still close though. Uh, okay, so... Uh, T TSC, it's really hard to say, like, uh, what do you have unlocked at level 34? Everything, right? Like, a Caliber Tagar, it's up to you what you like. Honestly, I, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man, give me one beluga, please. I've been here one hour, ten minutes. Oh, wow, we are going to hit 30 likes. How? <laughs> you guys are amazing. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Help us reach our goal for the month. 10 new subscribers during stream is what we are going for. When our 10 is so long on Lugas, what do you mean? It's short time, isn't it? I mean, I was just hoping at least get one beluga per hour and I'll be fine with that but I'll wait longer I want to go at least one more hour here like I want to give it a good chance and then we can try for East Siberians Hello, AM. Ah, another mole. Wow, we are really doing with the moles here. Mole, 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 mole. We're up to 21 now. That's great. Ah. See, I just... 
I am picturing the last site, right? Um, the last time we went beluga fishing, it was really active. And we ended up catching, you know, in one hour we caught like two belugas. In the second hour we got zero belugas. And the after, after that we got like one beluga, I think. So like I'm basing my expectation on that, I guess. Um, we are at 30 likes. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Autism, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for subscribing. Really active for tiny ones? Yes. Okay. All right, well. Can we have a goal of one beluga in, let's say, two hours total? <laughs> Uh, so like you said, this one is 32 meter clip, this one is 31 meter clip, and on the beta larva it's a 30 meter clip, so I might need to recast this one, I didn't hit my uh, clip on it. See, I recast it and this guy's behaving. Or you know what, maybe he's stuck in the deeper part before he was on the side. I don't know. They're just sitting well, so that's good. That's not actually the whole end. I think it's past it maybe. Because 32 meter clip is really far. It's, it's much further upriver. Oh. I see. Hmm. Still no level. Oh my god. Damn. Boxster with a 32 kg blue tag common carp. Wow. Look at this guy. Damn. This guy is insane. He's trying chocolate or something, and apparently he just... He's been fishing for barely one hour, and he already has a blue tag. <laughs> that is insane. Can you say something bad about football team? Why? I have no idea. Hey, we only have positive vibes here, okay? <laughs> Uh, we can go catfishing with one rod. No, we can't. Because uh, my boat rods, I only have two wenches, so. If I take one wench out for catfishing, then that's going to, you know, cut our fishing in half. So I can't do that. Yeah, now if I was filthy rich, you know, I had four Venges or three Venges. Sure, the third one I could try cattle fish hole. You know what, guys? At least we have something, right? We have a few Sturgis and a Starlet. Rather than like no fish at all. 
I don't have catfishing. Yeah, I don't have catfishing set up. I'm thinking after my third venture, um, I might get a catfishing set up or I might get my third Barracuda. Because when we go Archipelago, like on my Super Duty, that's like my third rod at 30 kg. That is better than yesterday, yes, absolutely. Emigrantis, hi, welcome. What's up? Ananas, you want half dead perch? Ah, uh, no, it's okay, thank you. I don't think we are getting anything on perch. Um, I'm using Gibbles and I actually logged on and farmed Gibbles before the stream. But yesterday from Gustav, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 live gibbles. We have more than enough for today. You broke your caliber because you weren't looking for one second. RIP and pepperonis. And barra noodle. <laughs> Is barracuda a good rod? Yes. Um, the reason because it's a 95 kg rod. Uh, so with the Vencha which has a lock of 100 kg, you can put an 84 kg line on this and go catfishing. So. The bussiness. The business rod. It's a 51 kg rod. Yeah, catfishing with Venge is super slow and you gotta drink like 2 million coffees. But at least if you have an itch for catfishing, you have, like, you can do it, you know, with your regular rod. Have it trolling? Absolutely not. It's just that if you get a big fish with the Barracuda, uh, it's going to be a little annoying pulling it in into the boat. Because uh, your rod will bend so much that the fish will still be underwater and you put your net out and it won't catch it. So you're going to have to like try to walk back or look another way and try to, you know, pull it in. That's the only downside of the Barracuda. I mean, for trolling, I don't know what these words mean. I just look at load capacity. 95 kg, that's more than enough for any map. <laughs> so I go on that. Oh, we can dig again. Let's go dig over here. I doubt it matters. Location does not matter. But just for the hell of it. Thirty likes. Wow, you guys are amazing. No <laughs> worm pit, worm pit everywhere. Look at this cacao white chocolate, white chocolate. That is some nutty stuff. That is next level. Nuts, it's nuts. More like worm map. <laughs> now I want to try this, but foggy got Fogster. I don't like sinking boilies though. I just want simple, you know, pop-ups and that's it. Pop-ups, corn, the good stuff. With sinking and pellets, it's like, okay, do I use the hair net or do I use the whatever other setup? I 
I just... Without any reason, I just don't like it. Not, like, it has nothing to do with the performance of the pellet or anything, or the sinking. It's just... I don't know, it's too complicated for me, I guess. It's like, you know, you... You have... You don't know, let me, let me get another one. You know, you have it on... Uh, on pop-up and you can do so many different things but then it's like oh man i gotta do sinking boily okay so which which setup do i use do you use here oh that has the pellets no i want that uh i want the snowman one and then you gotta pop buy those sinking boil uh sinking boilies and pellets and then in the skills i remember i had to upgrade uh, for sinking stuff too. Uh, hinged stiff. Where is it? Snowman rig. And uh, what are the other one was? If you go carp fishing, uh, see so Duncan. Where are you gonna go carp fishing at Amber? If you go to Amber, like I said, look for active spots on VK or on Discord and see what people are using. Uh, because there isn't one setup that works anywhere on Amber. That's the issue. Uh, the day morning, you lost your trophy brown trout at Bilea. Uh, I was in front of you and the line got torn off. I was pretty sad because I'm saving money for a quarry trolling setup. Damn. I hope you, you get the money quick. Worm and nightcrawler. Yes, sir. I was really expecting more Sturge on Gibbles. We've only had one. One was on the Gibble. Wow, just one Sturge on the Gibble, that's it. Euros, <laughs> hi, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Is that a brick factory? It looks like a brick factory. Polluting our waters. We're gonna sell these fish. To the cafe and they're gonna feed people. <laughs> Asher, I am doing good. How are you doing? How's life been? I know, a long time no see. It's all good. Hey, at least you're here. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm evil. Hey, I mean, the cafe knows exactly what's going on. Right, they they know they can see the brick factory. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, these worms are probably toxic. They were digging up and we got worms in our pockets. How much worm do we have from digging? 
6,630 worms. Okay. Red worm, 176. It's a canned food factory. Then why do they have such a tall chimney? Uh, with so much smoke coming out. Canned food factory. Uh, doubt. Doubt. <laughs> Your room, I thought you were going crazy. Uh... Oh yeah, leaderboards uh, reset today. In about 40 minutes. How's the weather here? It's okay today. It's like 16 degrees Celsius and sunny, cloudy. Tomorrow it's 19. No, not tomorrow. In a few days. But yeah. Okay, again, not so big. But it's something here. Fish. Yes, it's a fish. Damn it. No. <laughs> I don't want the stupid thing. Uh, 6 kg. Okay. What amber spots would you recommend without PVA? Uh, so right now the amber spot that's working without PVA is on double corn. That is the 120 spot. So we went to that spot like, uh, what is it, last weekend? Uh, so people are saying that that spot is still active. I think I have an active spot video. If I don't, I should have um, uh, the highlight video. In the highlight video in the beginning, I mentioned, you know, what the coordinates are and what I'm using. So it's not like static. You know, like active spot, spots are always changing and uh, combos are always changing. So it's not like one combo will work in all of Amber anytime. It's not like that. Which is why I always tell people, uh, check for active spots. Gustav's Discord or... Uh, VK. So Asher, um, I have streamed the Angler when it came out. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, in the future, if they fix the game enough where I think I should make a video and check it out and see if it's any better, I might make a video then. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to stream it again because in one stream, we literally experienced the entire game. Hey, wow. That is a good one. That is... Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have Shaffer Larva and a Mole Cricket. That is a good scoop. Yeah. Oh my god, 32 likes. You guys are awesome. You know, obviously we're beluga fishing. There's barely any fish we're catching, but you guys are here. You guys are chatting it up. You know, we're entertainment. And uh, the likes are coming in. Thank you. It's an early development. <sighs> it's not an early development. It's, it's a released game. This is not an early access game. What the hell? The angler, not the angel, the angler. 
yeah, this this is a fully released game. It is not an early access or beta, none of that garbage. So when you release a full game for a full price, it better be complete and not broken. So. Even if they do add bottom fishing and new maps, it's still gonna suck because the whole, like the fundamental, right? The, the heart of the game is, it's missing, right? Like there is no fish fighting mechanism. It's, you look at the fish at the surface, if it's fishing on the surface, that means there's fish there. You cast there, uh, you know, the fish hooks on and then you just reel it in and, and that's it. Even Fishing Planet is more fun in terms of fish fighting. So even though it's an open world game and it's really fun to explore, the fishing aspect is what it's about and it's very lacking. And it's such a heartbreaker. Like Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, I tell every time, it's so much better. Fish fighting is actually fun. And you have to play around with the resistance, you know, the friction break and stuff. Uh, for rocks, hi, welcome. How's it going? Going, going, going. RF4 is the most realistic game, I guess. Uh, it's the most challenging fishing game from all the games. It's the closest to a simulator, whereas all other games are arcades. Honestly, like if I put Rhinoceros, Beetle, Larva, and all the rods, we will have more Sturge. But I am not here for Sturge. <laughs> they are bycatch. Good to spot a new drone. Ooh, you're gonna spy on your neighbors now. Hey, hey, hey. Do we maybe have something? No, it's okay. Yeah, I know, right? I just say Sturge. This is our first, this is our biggest fish yet. It just needs to be over 12 kg and then it'll be our biggest fish. <laughs> it's a very high ceiling we have right now. I hope it's a 20 kg. Oh, we already got it. Nice. No, 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 no. God. Stop it. Okay, we're gonna make sure it's on land first. No, it's a 10 cage. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the hell? LSG, last hi, how's it going? Welcome. Man, I thought this was gonna be our biggest fish yet. That was extremely strong 10 kg. Like what the heck? We got 10 kg, 11 kg on the Tagara. And they weren't as strong. Uh rip, yes. Sterlet tro wow. You know if it was a Sterlet trophy, that would have been insane, but I doubt it. If fishing planet improve, uh, remove the entry fee, I would start playing it. You and me both, Asher. That's the one reason I stopped playing that game. Um, yeah, 10k to enter to play, it's just too much. It's stupid. Darden, hi, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> oh my god, one hour, 34 minutes. First hour was okay, we still got fish. I'm doing good as well, Darden. Thank you. Is 
So initially when you're playing Fishing Planet, you don't have enough money. And then after a certain level or after a certain amount of time, making money becomes too easy. I think that's how it goes. Right? So I'm at a point where I just never have enough money. And I don't want to grind that game for four hours just to have enough money to go to the next map. You're level 43, bro. I'm not there yet. I'm not even close. <laughs> Big flying in the streams. I remember that. You're level 58. Wow. Initially, when I started Fishing Planet, it was a lot of fun. Um... But then, you know, like, it, it got boring really quick. Because, like, every map, once you catch all the fish on that map, like, it's over. It's done. You know, the fun is gone. Now I want to go to the next map and catch all the other new fish I haven't caught before. How are we doing here? 80 degrees Celsius. What is our biggest fish? 12 kg. Yeah, I just have to target like the best paid, best paying fish and then you just grind that single fish on the map the entire day. Worm. <laughs> oh man so far there i don't think i've seen any other anyone even say that you know there's a fishing game in development right now that's coming in 2023 i don't think we're gonna get anything in 2023 that sucks See, like, if there was a fishing game that was going to come out in 2023, uh, we would have all known about it, right? Because they would have been working on the game right now. Or at least for the last, you know, one or two years from now. So that it would be close to being finished or being released for next year. But we haven't heard anything. So, I don't know. I don't have any hopes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, leader boards are gonna reset in about half hour. My.
Oop. Why are you giving me trash? What is this? FD100. Medium. Why? Ooh. Rig not selected. Very good rod. Yes, sir. 4.6. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> yeah, I dare you. I dare you. I could send you a Venger 10k black, but I just don't have the guts to. Yeah, yeah. See, why even say it if you weren't going to do it? <laughs> oh, man. Why will I send it back to you? Even if I had premium. <laughs> I'm not sending it back. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are just waiting for a, uh, for a beluga. Or a sturge, for that matter. I uh, hope you're having a great time. Hope you're having a great weekend. Like, subscribe, help us meet our monthly goal. And uh, just relax and, you know, let's, let's wait. Oh, man. For once, I have too many bait fish. Yeah, the... The grind was too much, right? <laughs> Duncan, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope you have a great rest. All the best tomorrow. Bye, Duncan. Yeah, after a while, you know, you're like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll try again. Then you try it a little bit and then you're like, hmm, you know, maybe I should have just not installed it again. <laughs> thank you so much, Duncan. I appreciate it. So tomorrow, guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to stream tomorrow. Those carp rods laughing at you. <laughs> maybe we will go Amber tomorrow or maybe I'll stream Tunguska. I'm not sure. I was thinking of streaming a uh, construction simulator, but I think I just want to release videos of that game. Come on, man. Please, man. Please. Yeah, with the grind, like, if you're doing really good, you just want to keep going. Because, like, with RF4, you know, it's not active all the time. So when you get the chance, and it's really good, then you just want to keep at it. So. Angelo, chill out, okay? We know you got 
Mini, you got the bench. Okay, you won it at a Twitch giveaway. Good for you. But <laughs> let's not rub it in. <laughs> Every chance we get. Oh, damn. I'm drinking coffee. Black Sea Kutum, 4.5 kg. Wow. Yeah, I don't have that fish. Well, because I've never fished for it, so obviously. Where is it? Black Sea Beluga, Black Buffalo, I don't have. Bellora Bits, I don't have. Albino Catfish, I don't have. Black Sea Kutum. Uh, yesterday, Gus was saying he knows two Caspian spots, but they're extremely slow. So I'm not even going to bother. And then Caspian Brown Trouts, I remember streaming this. They were active for a very short time, like maybe for one day. And we ended up getting a 23.5 kg. Uh, it's going to be two hours soon, so what should we do? Should we stay here longer or should we go to Tunguska and try our luck with the East Siberian Sturge? I is not sure. Okay. I need a few people. Be people's votes. <laughs> No, I'm not repairing Tagara. I don't think so. I don't know. Sixteen point seven percent. It's still good. I don't know if I'll repair it or when I'll repair it. How much do we have? We are at 17 grand. Oh, mech? No. No, no way. Absolutely not. 42% mech. That's going to be like, what, two, three thousand grand? Sorry, two or three thousand dollars silver? Absolutely not worth it. Because at 32 grand or at 30 grand, I'm going to buy a, a, uh, a Venja. So I'll never ever use the Tagara again. So that's why I'm trying uh, not to not to repair it. And mech is only good up until you know 60 kg when you full lock it. And I don't see myself using the Vencha for catfishing or big sturge fishing. I don't know. I saw there's a black harp spot on bear. Uh, there might be, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't kept up with bear at all. Remember casting randomly out of a blur and fought a trophy tent for three hours. Oh my God, with the starter rod. That is insane. That is insane. Wow. Guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. Really appreciate it. Hey, Shaffer Larva. There we go. That's good. Two tench trophies on starter. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it really died out after one hour. Look at that. 52 minutes ago was our last fish. And then since 52 minutes ago, we only have three fish. So I'm going to wait till we have full uh, another 10 minutes. So we have full two hours and uh, 
I think then I'll leave because I don't know if the spot's just dead or if we're not or if we just gotta wait longer. It sucks, unfortunately, no 100 kg fish today. I was hoping we could at least get a really good sized Russian sturgeon, maybe even a trophy, because all the trophies are on Gibbles. Unfortunately, you know, we didn't get anything, so. Which means we're gonna have to do another <laughs> stream where we go beluga fishing again. Because I kind of really want 800 kg fish before I hit level 40. And I'm getting very close because we're almost through level 38 and then we're going to have level 39 to go through. So it's not a whole lot of time. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Asher, uh, just recently, I think last weekend stream, I ended up maxing out 200% bottom fishing. That was pretty darn good. Uh, I think that was on a trophy, uh, was that on a trophy carp at Amber? I don't remember, but we ended up maxing out. That was pretty darn sweet sauce. So I have three points. I don't know what to spend it on. <gasps> Using baitfish bottom rig. I think that's what I should spend it on. Right? Because I don't use anything else. Harvesting. There's no points to spend, is there? Uh, spin fishing. Jerk. Bait raw. That's for pikes when I go. Uh, heavy conventional using Texas. Wacky rig. Ooh. You know, wacky rig I do use. Christian, hey, how's it going? Severino, I never use that rig. Uh, wacky rig I use when I go... What is it? Donuts? For, uh... What is it? Pumpkin seeds? But, I don't know, bait fish, fine. You know what, I might as well because I need 100 kg fish. Was that a wise, was, was it wise to spend it? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was wise, I don't know. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just... 
Man, I have all of these live gibble carps. And it saddens me I won't be able to use them all. Sadness. Such sadness. They will be your pets. What? <laughs> Half dead gibbles. Yes. They're going to be dead pets soon. Look at this. Look at all my other dead pets. Uh, UFS 2, yes, they have improved a lot from when the game came out. It still needs work, though. Uh, but they are doing a good job. They're doing a good job. They keep, uh... <laughs> they keep releasing uh, patches and they're fixing stuff, so I'm... I'm happy with how it's going. Uh, how's the fishing? Not that great. It's paid access, what do you mean? UFS2 was always a uh, buy to play game. It was never free. Well, the beta test was obviously free because they wanted you to test the game and give them input. So, <laughs> you can't say that it was free at one point. Which it was, but like obviously for obvious reasons. Man, we got two minutes left. Yeah, these darn fish, they're just too scared. Oh, yeah. Gotta see my keep net. Why? Why do you want to see it? There. Happy? Two hours. That's all we have. 12kg, our biggest fish was our very first fish at the beginning of the stream. How's the weather in tongue? Yikes, tomorrow thunderstorm. Man, what the heck? And then it's heavy rain. Garbage. Absolute garbage. But uh, I guess we're still gonna go. For some reason, the bait fish on the rightmost rod loves swimming around, but the bait fish on our middle rod just sits there.
220 silver, patrolling, cool, Cory. Not bad, not good. Yeah, I'd say so. Ugh. Wormies, come on, man. You know, good thing, uh, we don't need to worry about tangling our lines and other fishing, fishing lines. Since we do have three rods and you can see this line is, uh, is going from behind this rod almost, behind the other line. So. Yeah, I hope we can hit 40 likes before the end of the stream. I am going to go for a bit more, don't worry. So we have plenty of time. Okay. What do you guys say? Should we should we skedaddle? Should we go to uh, Tunguska? I have no idea if East Siberians are going to work at all. Uh, even if they don't work, it's fine because I want to try small uh, river fishing. Yeah, you think leave. Okay. Man. No belugas. Yeah, let's let's go there. Let me just yank on them for once. Maybe they'll get us something here. We will leave in a bit. Now, I don't think I got any cafe orders here. Uh, so we will go straight to Tunguska and uh, sell there. Hey, there we go. That's why you do that sometimes to wake the spot up. East Siberian 67108. Clip 50. Wild though. Yikes. <laughs> uh, if it was 100 plus kg, our rod would slam down and the line would be going out. Well, not necessarily, but, uh, Three hundred thirty four silver in two hours. Yikes. Not good at all. 
Anywho, let's go ahead. 67108. I'm happy the spot is like in the middle. It's not all the way at the end. So let's change this to basic. Uh, Seventy four meters. <laughs> let's see if let's see if we can get a trophy here uh but it's gonna be pretty scary it is a very big river A the leader's board just reset. Perfect. Yeah, I hope it works for you. 10 out of 10 quality, nice. Uh, I just need to check if it's on Shaffer Larva or if it's on, uh, or if it's on, where is it East? Yep, it's on Larva. Okay, we will go ahead with that. And this we will remove. We will put Nightcrawler here. 50 meters. All right. Let's see how this goes. Now your Russian Sturgeon PVA is running out. Can you show me your East Siberian? Uh, zebra, 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 mussel, chopped worm, dried krill, black caviar, black caviar. Sometimes, I don't know, man. Like, this is what Babinook told me is uh, East Siberian PVA. Uh, but people over time have told me to use the regular PVA, you know, for, uh, for Russian sturgeon PV that you use. Sometimes people tell me to use that one instead. So I don't know which one's which, but we're going to try these. We only have 187 meters of line on though. Okay. 17,000 buckaroonies, guys. I'm going to reach 20 grand uh, so that, you know, then the goal is in sight. 30 grand, 31 grand is all we need. 11k after that. And then it's Venja, third one.
weeklies uh all region sure ghost corp oh leather corp your car your ghost car Man, everyone's using corn right now. Look at that. Tutti Fruity. I really need to go off stream and uh, farm the Tutti Fruity. You know what? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to, if we do stream, I will go to Amber and uh, use Tutti Fruity and farm. Uh, you got wenges, but now you need TIs. That's good, because TIs are 10 grand less than the wenges, so it should be quicker. i just love to see you with a massive YouTuber in the future. Oh man, thank you so much. I hope it's real soon. You know, they're a big channel. Oh my god, I forgot about that game. Uh, Planet Crafter, I checked out that game, I covered everything. And then I was just waiting for them to add content. And they just never did, the game just died. Because I never uninstalled it from Steam. Let's see here. Yeah, you know what? They never updated the game again. Like, they added updates, um, and the updates were meh. And then September 12th, they said, hey, the next big update. We started working on the next update. It'll focus on the lure, lore of the game, giving you more information about your world. What is Sentinel Corp and who is Riley? If you guys remember during the stream, she was the one who was, who was sending us emails. And we were sent down to this planet because we were a criminal or something. And we had to make the planet habitable. habitable. So you know what? I think whenever this update comes, it should be a really good update. Uh, and if you guys remember, there are already um, settlements or structures underground that people were living at. So I think this update will answer that as well. Nice. So it's just two people working on the game. So it's just been a while, I guess. Well, here comes the thunderstorm. Dang, damn it. Yeah, I don't think they abandoned it. They're just very slow at updating the game because it's only two people. So. Let's hide from the thunder. Yeah, in this game, we can't really do anything to hide from it. It is morning time. Maybe we will get something. I hope. Let me check other region. Has anyone even caught anything in the other region area? Only two people so far. 25 kg. Not bad. No belugas yet. Very slow beluga. Come on. You know your RNG should go up during a thunderstorm because you're risking your life fishing. And your energy drops like a rock. And you know you're like drinking more tea and coffee so they should increase the RNG and people should look forward to bad weather. But that's too, you know, that's too, that's too kind of the developers. That's, that's, no, 
Not gonna happen. Uh, I've said they abandoned professional fishing. It could have been a better game if they kept working on it. Yeah, professional fishing was an interesting game. Man, tomorrow heavy rain. So we're gonna go through our tea stock very quick. Come on, energy, go up. Let's go. What line do I have on this? 45 kg line. Nightcrawler. Does T still have quality now that it stacks? No idea. T making tea is cheap, so we make more. Oh, we might have something on the metal rod. So I make more of it. Coffee, I save for when I have a big fight on, then I'll uh, put coffee in the hot bar. You know? But during normal times, I'll just drink tea. Coffee is obviously better for energy. Fisher biting, maybe, or maybe something nibbled. Yeah, I haven't heard of the stacking thing. Nikeltis, hi, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. How's your weekend? <laughs> the devs don't really communicate, so who knows what the heck they're doing. Last thing they said from what I remember was something about cards whenever you get a trophy you have a chance of getting like a trophy card or something something absolutely worthless to gameplay so I don't know what the heck they're doing Iris Iris hi how's it going welcome I'm doing good as well, thank you for asking. Just waiting for these darn Isai variants. Uh, unfortunately, we could not get any belugas today. But it's okay, we spent a good two hours there. We will do another stream on that someday, hopefully when belugas are still, you know, good and active. And uh, now I'm just waiting on some Isai variants. Hopefully we get a nice sized one. And if we don't, if it's still dead, it's okay. We will go to the small river fishing. That's doing good as well.
it does seem dead. But uh, East Siberian is a slow spot too. Uh, sometimes it's crazy active. Most of the time it's a bite or two here and there. So I'll wait a little bit longer before we move. Nightcrawler might have something on it. Well, something nibbled. And then it was like, nope, I'm out. What time is it? Uh, 6.50 a.m., huh? Hmm. What's the peak time? I don't think sturgeons have a timer. They go whenever. I was just thinking, you know, when should we go to the small river? Because at nighttime, small river is dead. <laughs> you got a 900 gram? Nice. Oh, you chopped them into pieces. <laughs> On my Tagara, maybe I can put a uh, 42 kg liter. And then put uh, Shaffer on the Tagara too. But then we're going to end up like hooking onto a big one. And it's just going to be a really long fight when the Avengers are supposed to do that, so. <laughs> well, don't worry. They're going to be fish eating your gold baits that you won't even be able to chop up, so. That's how it is.
Man. Have you ever had caviar? I don't think so. No. I has not. Very good. Hmm. I am not too crazy about it. 9 p.m. for you. It's 3.21 p.m. for me. It is like mid, mid afternoon maybe. So you don't have it often. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. Oh, our energy is going to die out. You know what? Here, let me try this. Uh, let me put a leader on this. And see how that goes. If we, I don't know, if we get a Sturge on this, whatever. What can we do, right? What the hell? Oh, okay, that's fine. For a moment, I was like, "Yo, I put uh, I put PB on this and it disappeared. What the heck happened?" But no, I didn't put PB on this because I PB on the other two rods, so I'm not gonna bother. Next time you catch beluga, you sh should produce caviar from it. <laughs> yeah. Where is this thing? Syria? Alright, all right, Aris, goodbye. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow, I'm not sure. I'm streaming tomorrow.
Cut. Cory Whitefish. Kurai Whitefish. <laughs> yeah, so like when I go after Sturge and Belugas and stuff like that, I just alt F4 out of the game. Sorry, not alt F4. I alt tab out of the game. And I just do other things. I even play other games. Uh, but on stream, I just, I can't do anything, which is why I don't go fishing for Belugas or other slow spots on stream. Because like, I obviously need to show action, right? Uh, but beluga fishing, I have to do it because like I want 100k kg fish and I just don't have time off stream to do it. Uh, which is why I dedicate a stream to just fishing that. We can actually float fish here, but I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I do not want to do that. That's exactly why I said it. I can do float fishing here because it is active. Do, do I know any lures for Xander? Again, it all depends on what's active there. Uh, you can't really target the fish. Weekly Xanders, I don't think it's going to be from Volkov. I think all of them are going to be at Archipelago. Actuba, someone got a Xander. Uh, what lure is working at Volkov? Let's see. Volkov Balsa Minnow 75F is working and Snatcher S002. So hopefully if you are using those two lures or either of them, you have a chance of catching a Xander at Volkov. Um, but I don't think you can target just the Zandies. Man, I was really hoping we could get something here. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. Alright, let's wait till nighttime is over. And then in the springtime, we will... Uh, sorry. <laughs> during morning time, we will go... During morning, we will go a uh, small river. Or we can screw Tunguska and go Amber. And use Tutti Frutti. 
and make some money. Yes. Sanders, like you can't when you're trolling you can't aim for a certain fish. It's very rare. Uh when you actually can do that. Usually it's just one lure catches everything and that's it. It's just RNG. No, I'm not interested in bear. It's either Tunguska or Amber. Black carp is biting good. Ah, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow's stream. I don't... I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Unless golden tents are super active. You know what? Look, it's there's thunderstorm today at Tong. Tomorrow there's heavy rain at Tong. I honestly just want to go to Amber and use double corn and make some money. It's 3.30 p.m. We can do a one hour full session over there. Ambi, how are you looking? <laughs> In two hours there's a thunderstorm. Okay. Let's go Amber. Anyone else? Anyone else? It's too bad I wasted 2 PVA for East Urge. Really hoping for something, but uh, that's how it is. I like I can come back here after an hour or two and I can catch some really good East Siberians. And then I can be here another hour and it'll be absolute trash. That's just how it is. That's what I've noticed. East Sturge spot is. Let's see if anyone has caught anything good here. Oh my god. Are you serious? 34 minutes ago. The <clears throat> leaders boards reset. And look at this guy. Already 117 kg. 88 kg. 53, 51 C. For some people, it is so good. Uh, but we are just forgetting nothing. Either I'm at the wrong spot or something's wrong that I'm doing. Yeah, you know, in other regions, it's really small. Oh. Ha. Ah. Yeah, Tutti Fruity slow for you. Yikes. Man, the rain's here. What the hell do we do now? Six kg east. Mm. Not worth it. But hey, we got something. Finally. Yeah, I don't like this rain. You know, maybe maybe tomorrow's stream we can try Siberians again. Uh, but right now I'm going to one more time try this.
all these leaders are worn out. What the heck? What the heck? Mugga mugga. Tootie on this one. Tootie on this one. I'm kind of worried. I haven't really been hearing good stuff about this. Uh, what is the clip here? I'm trying to remember. I think it was 12 meter. Yeah, tomorrow's stream at the same time. I think it's 12. <laughs> GD Gaming, hi, welcome. Uh, yes, you are late, but honestly, you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss much. one Mugga Mugga Thank you so much GD I don't have a good feeling about this I'm gonna be honest with you guys But it doesn't hurt to try Uh, yeah, my streams usually always start at the same time. Sometimes I'll, I'm a little bit early, but... Oh wait, we gotta sell our one and only fish. 18 is silver. Alright, tutti fruity. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Please don't, please don't. God damn it. I hate you. I tried getting off, but it don't work. So we're gonna have to do this stupid thing again. No, if Amber is slow, that's it gonna that's it for the stream. Cause like at that point I'm losing more money than I'm making money.
All right, finally we are here. <clears throat> we are at 35 likes. Nice. Thank you so much for all the likes, guys. You guys are awesome. You should get a fourth rod. Why should I get a fourth rod? What will that what will that accomplish? You should be able to use a fourth rod in this game. Is that what you're saying? Uh, because then if four rods were ro allowed, I would have four rods as bottom fishing, right? But then they would make sure that even with four rods, the bite rate would still be, you know, what it is now. Trash. So you'll never be able to win and get an edge. Yippers. Oh, finally. Are we getting something? Oogie oogie, vroom vroom. Yay, we got something. Yikes. That's <laughs> something. Now we need a lot more of this. If we are going to make some money. Thirty six likes, yes. Damn. Look at all these fish. Fifty nine KG still. <laughs> Wowzers. Thirty seven already, thirty seven what already? Do you have thirty seven fish at the spot? Oh, two people caught this fish. Nice. You wish this was on Discord on Xbox? 11 kg, very nice. What? What? 
There we go. Yeah, definitely slow, but definitely slower. Uh, but maybe it will pick up. Maybe we'll still make good money. Let's see. At least the weather's nice. I'm happy for that. Uh, highly unlikely at this spot, because when this spot was going insane, like uh, last week, um, no one got a trophy here. This is more of a quantity or quality type of spot, but yes, if we were to get a trophy here, it would be very sweet. We did get a 27 kg leather as our very first fish. When we, when I started the stream last week, was it? Which is not a trophy, but still a very hefty sized fish. Two minutes, 15 kg. Good luck. Thirty-six. Loiks. Oi. Oi. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's a tiny one. Man. Yeah, actually, that was the spot. It was right here. It was a 5-meter clip here. It was insane. Uh, but right now, at 12-meter clip, this spot's, you know, working. So, but yeah, that was just insane. You pick up the rod and the fish comes out. Oop, I picked up too early. Uh, it's been two minutes. No 15 kg fish. GD Gaming. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, we're going to take this rod first. Loads of non-markers today. That is not good. <laughs> oh, hail the shovel. The shovel that gives us absolutely nothing.
to be honest, if we're going to get trashed like this, um, it's not worth it. Oh, 37 already. Okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> what the heck? Took me like 10 minutes to get it. What is happening? Yeah, you know, beluga fishing was a very slow form of fishing. Uh, so from the very beginning, I wasn't expecting much, but I was hoping, you know, since the Russian sturgeons were biting the same uh, bait, we would still get a little bit of action, but unfortunately, even though we got a few fish, they were all tiny. And then East Siberians, um, I guess they were okay too. We were there half hour and we got one at least. It's just a very slow form of fishing today. And Amber, we came here, I haven't heard much, even though people are like, oh yeah, it's very hot and this and that. But unless you, you know, made, were at the spot today and you earned a lot of money, only then should you say, oh yeah, the spot's still hot. Because uh, from what I've heard, the spot's kind of dying out. It's slower than what it used to be, so. Uh, but we're still here. Let's see. Even if we make 300 silver from this spot, I'm, I'll be happy. <laughs> Mighty and okay. Oh man. Yeah, the tiny ones are more, more brave than the big ones. I'm grinding for money. I'm grinding for money and I want a 100 kg plus fish before I hit level 40. That's my goal. So my number one goal is catch 100 kg fish before I hit level 40. So that's why I was doing uh, beluga fishing. Man, what is this trash? Finally, barbecue corn 3.8 kg. It's not going to be worth much. Maybe 20 silver. We just need a lot more of them or we need like a 10 kg double digit ghosties. But that's a good sign. At least we got our ghost. Really died out in the end. For me, now you're making 600 in 1 hour 40 minutes. Yikes. Yeah, it's on its way out, unfortunately. Or, you know, maybe tomorrow it'll bounce back up. Uh, but I want to find a really good trophy spot, though. Like on, on the bigger setups.
5.9. Okay, okay. As long as we keep getting markers, we should make good money. It's when we just get too many non-markers is what bothers me. Four point nine, okay. Yeah, definitely. If it's a marker, it's good. That's how the spot is. But uh, uh, 14 minutes, 12 markers. As long as we are close to one fish a minute mark, it should still be very good. And I have PVA 10 gram bag only on one rod. Ooh. Yay. Our very first double digit fish. Twelve KG. Noise. Oh no, that's our second double digit fish. Twelve eleven. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be streaming tomorrow, same time. What's your time zone called? It's 1 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. So I can just throw it into Google if you want, you know, 1 p.m. EST to whatever your time zone name is and Google will tell you what it is. Can we get to 40 likes today, guys? Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Asher. I just hope I can get something tomorrow. <laughs> Oh man, I hope fishing is better tomorrow. Damn it. Okay, okay. Hopefully morning gives us something good.
Lemon, hi, how's it going? It's a little slow here. But uh, not too bad. Yeah, you got your second venture. Congratulations. Nice. Nice. What are you going to do now? What are you, you going to go fish for right now? Are you going after Sturge or... Nice. Another double digit. Are right, you going to go after carps? Okay, okay. Ten kg, very nice. And then buy some rods. Yeah. Okay. Four kg. Just making a slow income, slow money. We don't gotta worry about rentals, so. Noise. Hello, Joanne. Yeah, and how did that go? Point two one. Someone already has a East Siberian. Yeah, I checked already. Like half hour ago, they caught it. They caught it within a half hour of uh, leaderboard reset. So it could be, you know, they already had one on. So it's pretty insane. 117 at kg. But look at how good these sizes are. 53, 73, 88. It's too bad we didn't get anything, but you know, it's, it's RNG. So, yep, that 117 is from other region. So, oh, hello.
Leather, hello leather. 9.82. Hello moto. You guys remember that? Ringtone. Hello moto. Twenty-four minutes, twenty markers. I like it. I like it. Now it's morning, so uh, buy rate should increase. Twelve kg, another double digit. Very nice. So twelve, twelve, eleven, ten. Oh, we got another one. Very nice. You're fishing with Nightcrawler. Oh, nice. Look at this. Nice sized fishy. Uh, you're fishing with Nightcrawler and got a 17 kg Siberian. Yep, I've caught them plenty of times on Nightcrawler. 10 kg mirror, okay. I've caught everything on Nightcrawler. Eastside Baron Sterlet, Burbit, Amur Cat, so. Uh, but obviously it's rare. Well, obviously Shaffer works, but Shaffer is better. For Eastside variants. Man, bro, we are at we are at 38 likes. Nice. We're gonna hit 40 easy. So 26 minutes, 24 markers. Good, good. We are almost one fish a minute. That's really good. Oh, yes, finally. Good job. GG, easy. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Give me a ghost car, please. I need the money. Small. Uh, let's, uh, I just want to look, let's see. Common carp already filled with trophies and look at this guys. Spicy pepper, tuna and pepper. So could this be the new... The new combo, common ghost carp, everyone's catching on Tutti Fruity. Hopefully we can get a double digit on Tutti Fruity. Wow, corn. Uh, this is common scaly on corn as well. Corn. Corn, 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 all of them. Cheeto carp, corn as well. So. Yeah. 
Impulsive. Hi. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Wow. 38 likes. Um, I think it shows me one less like for some reason. So you guys are probably seeing 39 likes. I'm seeing 38. Uh, but thank you everyone for uh, for throwing that like. Appreciate it. Trying those dragon chars out again. Good luck. Linear. Hmm. How are the dragons doing? Are they active right now? I guess they are. Lure Tanguska, 1.7 to 5.4 kg. Different lures. Satori, Hunter, and the Hypnotic. I love that Hypnotic color. Two sixty three. Not too bad. <laughs> Cruising so bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're really bad. Like hot damn. Uh in two hours I got one Russian sturgeon on them. Well, I didn't use Cruisin, I used Gibble. Um, all the fish that I did get were on the, uh, beetle bark larva. Near rod, which can withstand at least 30 kg and you're good for carps. Oh yeah. You should be good. Whoops. Not mean to do that, but it's a non-marker fish. Feel so good at Oldberg. Nice. So we are. Hey, another one. 5 kg, much, much better. 20 to 30 silver, maybe, for the 5 kg. Very nice. Now give me a double digit one. Uh, rain plus old boogaloo, 18, 16 degrees. Oh, yeah, I think you're talking about Wolkov? No. Where? Here, old boogaloo. I already have a trophy that we got on stream, so I'm, I'm happy. Old boogaloo. How are we doing it so far? 33 minutes, 34, 31 markers. Honestly, not bad. And a lot of the fish are decent. Like, yeah, our first row is 3 kg, but like, we have all 5 kg fish, then we have double digit fish. So, not bad. Oh man, non marker. I had to say, it, didn't I? Worm and red worm. Literally the only thing. Oh my god, guys, are we at 40 likes? What do you guys see in terms of likes? Is it 39 for you guys or 40? Because it's 39 for me. Okay. 
seven. Hey, 41 likes. Hot damn. Thank you so much for all the likes, guys. We hit past 40 likes. Thank you. That is amazing. Jose, Jose, hi, welcome. <laughs> 41 likes. Hot damn. Thank you so much. Likes are 42. Okay, there we go. We got 42 likes. <laughs> Man, I'm so glad. Well, as long as, you know, everyone who is watching and who has watched uh, the stream so far today, I hope they enjoyed it. We didn't catch much fish at all because uh, it was a very slow. It was a very slow fishing day because we were targeting, you know, the sturgeon belugas. But uh, I think we still were, were doing pretty good. You know, people... You guys were chatting and I was talking about stuff. So I think overall, hopefully the stream was good. Chris, hello. <laughs> Let's see if we can focus on what. Russian fishing for servers need to restart. Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> they just need to wake up. Another rare, please. Six kg. Honestly, not bad. This spot. You know, maybe a little bit slower than last week. Um, but I would say so far, it's going pretty strong. In one hour, we will have hopefully 50 fish, 50 markers. So it's pretty darn good. Uh, my goal at Amber is to get a blue tag. Uh, common carp is like the most likely blue tag. And then uh, get a um, get a ghost carp trophy. Really want a ghost carp trophy. Because I have all the other carp trophies. You know, barbel, common carp, frame sided, linear, leather, mirror. Uh, grass carp I really don't care about. So, like, besides that, we have all the other ghosts and albinos. Oops, not ecto. You know, for so many months, I thought this fish piece was a very, very thin slice of fish. And one day on stream, I accidentally clicked and dragged it. And I'm like, wait, what? And I was like, oh my God, it's a huge chunk of fish. What the hell? And for so many months, maybe even almost a year, I had no idea if piece of fish was this big. I thought it was just like a very thin fillet <laughs> all this time. Oh man, that was funny. Just a stretch, just a stretch. <laughs> it is huge, yes. So that's that's what she said. <laughs> uh man. Oh my god, what? Another one? 10.8 kg, yes! Our double digit rare carp is a barbecue corn. Wow. Look at this. 10 kg, 5 kg, 3 kg. That is proper. But, uh, these, this combo is still working. Tutti Fruity, 12 meter clip and 132, yes!
Still cooking. That fish is going to be worth good money. Like, hopefully 50 silver. Hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Oof. 24 kg Maricarp. Damn. That's great. Great. We got a 27 kg mirror. A uh, bear. Hmm, ah, oh, potato? Nah. I don't know if it's gonna be any good on potato. Common ghost. Look at this, 14 to 18 kg. Tutti Fruity and then a juicy lemon. Is a lot. Let's check other region. Am I in the... Am I in the... Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, boy is in second place in other region. <laughs> but within... Uh, within like an hour, I'm just not even going to be here. People are just going to knock me down here. As more and more people... Wow, Tutti Fruity, look at this. Uh, what is my favorite map at the moment? Hmm. Honestly, no idea. I don't know what my favorite map is. I love Amber. Uh, so maybe Amber is my favorite map. Alright, no clips. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a great rest. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, I love... Amber a lot. Um, I really like Tunguska Small River Fishing. I think that might be my favorite or my second favorite. Uh, in terms of money, it's all over the place. Uh, but it's just such a nice place to fish. It's so relaxing. You're not going after big fish, so you're not stressing out about locking your reel or getting spooled. Uh, the, the fish are good quality, you know, sometimes they're worth a lot of money, they're beautiful fish. Like I said, you know, the graylings, sharp snouted lanook, pink salmon, you can get all that stuff there. But the sound of the river is really nice. So, you know, that could be my, that could be my favorite spot in the game. But, not sure. Meow, 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 meow. 43 minutes, 43 fish. One point four kg carpal. That is small. Seven point six, much better.
Nice, this whole row is double digit fish. Yep. Oh man. Nice. Does not look like a double digit. Maybe like a 7 kg? Almost a 7 kg. I'm really good with estimating uh, fish size. I think. Most of the time. At least with carps. Uh, but honestly, I'm surprised. 40 cent markers, 45 minutes. I thought we weren't going to do this good. I thought we were just going to do meh. Let's spend a one hour full here. So it's been 46 minutes and uh, see how much monies we have made. Uh, we don't have ground bait, do we? It's very quiet. Cough, cough, cough. Off road mechanic.
Have the weeklies changed any bit? Nope. Still, uh, still tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. I'd really like a an albino here. Yes, two pieces. Score. Nice. That's a good dig. KG Tiny, tiny. It's your turn now, huh? Double digit, please. Ooh, it's a leather. Nine point six, close. Nice. Fifty markers and fifty two minutes. That's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. And we don't have a whole lot of these types of fish, you know, that under 3 kg fish. We have 3 kg and more. What the what the what what the Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> spots about to die out or it's dying out or it's already died. But we are very close, guys. We have five more minutes at the spot. So hopefully we can get a few good ones out by then. Man, that looked like a ghost. Damn. Nice. Hmm. 
<laughs> Very nice. The stream has turned into a very relaxed stream. You know, the fish are coming in, there's no worry. We're doing pretty darn good. 56 minutes, 54 markers. It's a bit quiet, so. Leather, yes. God, I don't want to leave, guys. I mean, I'm still getting fish. <laughs> Uh, 58, two more minutes. Oh, who's messaging me? Advis, hello, it is going good. How about you? Um, you know, it's a very slow fishing day for us. I was going after belugas, you know, not much to catch there. The event for East Siberians, very slow as well. Uh, we came to Amber again. And uh, it's actually pretty good. I thought it was not going to be good. Uh, but we will actually see when we, uh, we'll actually see when we sell the fish. Oh, it's been one hour. Okay. 
Oop. Any trophies? No, no trophies, sadly. Our best fish for today, honestly, is this 10.8 kg common ghost. That's pretty much it. Uh, we have two more ghosties, but they're small 5 and 3.7 kg. Six kg leather. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow as well. Probably RF four. Uh, no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but let's see. Let's see what's in store for tomorrow. Where? Leather. Yuck. No one marker. Why? 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 Are we going to get something on this? Let's go Palio. One hour, one minute. Yeah, I got to I got to all talk more. Okay. Uh, let's sell the fish and see how much money we have earned in one hour at Amber using Tutti Frutti. Uh, I did use PVA, but it was only one rod that had 10 gram of PBA back. So if anyone is still watching guys, take your guess. How much did I earn in one hour? We have 58 marker fish. Um, I'm going to guess uh, five. I'm going to guess 450 silver, but I'm going to say 500 silver. I'm going to say 500 silver. What do you guys think? I can show you the net if you guys want uh, to see it for the guess. Forty-three likes, my god. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Alright, what do we have? Linear carp, frame sided, both the trophies. Are you serious? Oh man, nothing else? Bunch of hooey. Man. Okay. So no cafe orders, sadly. Cafe orders help a lot. Let's go ahead and see how much money we've earned in one hour using Tutti Frutti only. Oh boy, 653 silver, yes! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at this, 75 silver for this 10.8 kg common ghost carp. 5.3 common ghost is 37, 12 kg frame 27, 3.8 kg common ghost 26. Very nice, we have a few leathers here. Did not expect to do this good. I thought the spot was dying, sort of dead. But honestly, we got almost one fish per minute here, one marker per minute. And uh, man, that is pretty darn good. I would love to come back here tomorrow and farm this some more and uh, get our third venja soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, slots, you just got a 40 kg Siberian. Damn! Yeah, I mean, they're definitely there. You just gotta be patient. You know, you just gotta wait it out. That's pretty good. I don't think the leaderboard will have updated yet. Oh, you're not, you're not even gonna make it here, actually. Look at the size, 66 to 117. That's insane. Fortuna plus Venja. 30 minute fight. Yikes. Yeah, that 40 kg with the Venja and TI full lock. Uh, 30, ah, one minute. One minute depends. You're not here yet, but I don't know if you're in other region. Uh, but you know what? Nice. Very nice. That's like 100 plus silver fish right there. Uh, in that much time slots in one hour, 
uh, at Amber Hair using just double corn. We made 600, what is it? 653 silver. Pretty darn good. Ah, uh, Dovidas. Dovidas. Forgot. Oh, well, nice work. Slot. Damn. So tomorrow, 100%. I want to start the stream here, guys. Because that is still such good money. It's such easy fishing. It's such chill fishing. I really want to do this again tomorrow. So we will do just that for tomorrow's stream. This is going to be it for me for today, guys. Uh, let's go ahead. Stay here, guys. I am uh, going to... we Let's raid Gus. They're having a uh, their league competition practice, I think. So he's streaming as well. Let's go ahead. I'm going to end the stream and it will redirect you guys to Gustav's stream. And if it doesn't, guys, please let me know on Discord because it doesn't work for me, the redirect. It's so weird. Uh, you guys have a great night as well. Thank you so much, Sloth, Advis, everyone else. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow on tomorrow's stream. Let's go ahead. Stream is ending. Let me get rid of RF4. And let's go ahead and read. 